Now guys, while picking my scythe, I noticed that my seasonal pepper plant has some seasonal peppers on it. And so what I will do is actually, now this is not really traditional for this dish, but because I have some of these seasonal peppers here, I will actually pick some and we will also add it to our chicken mushroom casserole. So we will add some of these seasoning peppers to it. I'll probably pick three. It's another one there. All right. Nice. So we'll add these seasoning peppers to our casserole. There's another herb that I'm going to pick to add. Actually, two other herbs that I'm going to pick to add to my uh, dish. I'm going to pick some small leaf thyme here, yeah, which I'm also going to add. And I'm also going to pick some sweet basil to put on the top when it's finished. So let's pick some of these sweet basil leaves that we can just chop up and sprinkle on the top. Okay guys, so we're gonna make a chicken mushroom casserole today. And these are the ingredients that we're going to use in order to make our dish. So here we have some chicken. Now, <clears throat> what I had was chicken wings. Um, of course, you can use chicken breasts, which actually would be better, but I'm using what I have on hand. What I did, I simply cut off the tips of the um, chicken wings. I separated the chicken wings, as you can see. I cut it up, so I separated it, and then I cut off the tips of it, which I'm gonna set aside for um, another dish. But I just cut it up here, as you can see. So you're gonna need some chicken. You're gonna need mushrooms. You're gonna need one medium onion. Um, you can use white onion. I'm using what I have on hand, which is red onion. I also am going to use three seasoning peppers that I have cut up here. You're going to need some garlic, so about four cloves of garlic, some small leaf thyme, um, some sweet basil. Of course, this is optional. If you don't want to use sweet basil, just omit it. Some side, which we're going to sprinkle um, over the top at the end. We obviously are going to need some salt and pepper to season our chicken and our mushrooms. We're going to need three quarters of a cup of heavy cream and one cup of chicken broth. And we're also going to need some flour over here in order to dredge our chicken. Now, the chicken broth and the heavy cream. Um, you can add more or less, depending on how much chicken you have. So based on the amount of chicken that I have, a cup of chicken broth and three quarter cups of heavy cream would be sufficient in order um, to cover my chicken. Um, we'd also need some butter as well. Okay, so there we have the butter. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to cut up my garlic. I forgot to mention that we would also need some cornstarch slurry, you know, to help thicken up our sauce. So here I have one teaspoon of cornstarch uh, mixed in with some chicken broth in order to make a little slurry. All right, so let's season our chicken with some salt and pepper. So one side, some salt, let's put some pepper now. This is white pepper that I'm using. Okay, let's turn it over and season the other side. Okay. 
Right, let's put some white pepper now on this side. Okay, good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna dredge the chicken and some flour here. I am using gluten-free flour. Uh, this is an all-purpose bacon mix. You can use your normal white flour. We just really want a light dredge. chicken is dredged let's head over to the stove and we're gonna brown the chicken on both sides okay so I'm gonna add a little olive oil to my pan here so that I can brown the chicken on both sides okay so we're gonna add our chicken in Alright, so we're just going to leave this to brown on both sides and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so we're going to flip the chicken over now to brown the other side. Okay guys, it's time for us to transfer our chicken to our casserole dish. And then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so now we're gonna saute and our mushrooms and onion and seasoning pepper. So we're gonna put some olive oil in our pan here. We're gonna put some butter. in our onions and seasoned pepper. And we'll add in our mushrooms. Wow, as that seasoned pepper hit the oil, the aroma that it released, wow. Very nice. So we'll just saute the mushrooms until they are soft. I'm gonna add in my garlic now. Continue to saute until our mushrooms soften. All right, so my mushrooms look soft enough so I'm now going to add in the thyme and the basil I'm just going to stir this quickly so now we're going to put this mushroom here combination in with our chicken so we have the chicken here, as you can see there. So let's remove this from here. We're going to add this to the whole chicken. In our pan here, we're now going to make our sauce to pour over our mushroom and chicken. So I'm going to add the chicken broth. We're going to add our heavy cream. I'm going to add a little piece of butter, about one tablespoon. And we also want to add some salt because remember we did not add any salt when we were doing the mushrooms. So we could have done that, but I will add the salt now to the sauce. Put 
Gerüste. A little dash of white pepper as well. Right, now to help thicken our sauce, let's add cornstarch slowly. Just gonna stir this together. All right, so now we're going to pour our sauce over the chicken and mushrooms. Good, so now we're going to cover this and we're going to put it in the oven. Now because I have bone in my chicken, I'm going to put it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes. If you were just using um, boneless chicken that you had pan fried on both sides, then you can drop the temperature to 350. But as I'm using bone in, I'm going to have mine at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes. Okay guys, so this is our chicken mushroom casserole. It's now finished. So I'm just going to toss it like this with a spoon, stir it rather. And then let's sprinkle it with some of our side. All right, so there you have it folks, your chicken mushroom casserole. <coughs> Be sure to give the recipe a try. Feel free to share with family and friends. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.